and welcome back to another StumbleCraft tutorial. My name is Captain Paperweight, and today we are working on a automatic uh, loader. Now, I was trying to build, or I'm building a furnace farm in the realm that I do my series on, and I was wanting to find a loader so that way I could help evenly distribute all the fuel and stuff. So. I was searching around and all the ones I was trying to build just were not working. Um, either they were getting stuck on hoppers or the redstone of it wasn't working out correctly. I don't know what's changed or if maybe I'm just building them wrong. That is always a possibility. Um, but I went ahead and made my own and as usual it is a bit of a monstrosity but it is relatively simple. So we have the of course slanted rails here to make sure that once this piston is retracted. Um, It'll re release the minecart and it can go on its way. We have a detector rail uh, right here and a comparator reading the detector rail readings of this thing getting loaded. And then obviously a comparator running off of there to go ahead and power off the piston once it hits the designated amount of um, items. And it'll release, cart will fall carry on and it will get unloaded. So uh, the thing to kind of keep in mind here is that the max you can go away from the comparator for a full chest or hop a minecart is going to be 15. Um, that's this yellow block here and uh, as I just may have mentioned if you caught it this does work with hop a minecarts as well. So um, now let's say you only want like a third of it or you know half of a chest or hop a minecart, you would just replace whatever piece of redstone with a repeater. So when it got there, it would just go ahead and energize it. Now, if you don't need that kind of versatility and being able to change it and move it around, and you know you only are going to want, you know, a half of a cart, you can just go ahead and build this out, throw your redstone there, get rid of all this, and you're good to go. And the um, smallest you can make this is going to be seven blocks um, by four blocks. So yeah. Um, but yeah, basically uh, that's all of it. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at how this thing works. All right, materials list. So this isn't a large build, so you're not gonna need a lot. Um, you're gonna need 23 of the building blocks, one detector rail, two hoppers, two rails, one piston, one redstone comparator, three redstone repeaters, 15 redstone dust, uh, two chests, and one redstone torch. And the chests are technically optional, as if you have another sort of line system feeding into it you may not need those chests so um, adjust as needed but let's go ahead and let's get to the build okay so let's go ahead and let's get this thing built so obviously I've got my little unloading spot or whatever off to the side here um, go ahead and uh, pick where exactly you want it to be and then you're gonna want to build one up one up another and then a block on top of there. Then you are gonna to wanna to take your detector rail, put it right there, grab your regular rails, and oops, actually I forgot. You're gonna to wanna to do that before you to put that top block up to leave that slanted, and then do another regular rail off to wherever you need it to go. And then from here, we wanna go ahead and grab our building blocks again, and build out in a pattern like so, or as I mentioned earlier, if you only needed to go X amount of blocks, uh, figure out that distance that you'll need. Then from here, go up one, and then bring it out, and then from here, you're gonna wanna place your piston right in this area, like so, and then you wanna go ahead and grab your comparator, 
toss that right there next to the detector rail. Then go ahead and grab your redstone and run that all along there. And then you have a repeater and finish that connection. And that's going to be to turn this off. So go ahead and place your torch there. And then you will need to put a repeater right here. As if you put redstone, it will just complete the circuit and cause chaos. And it just won't work. Um, so now let's go ahead and let's get our uh, block right there. And this is just so we can take our hoppers and put a hopper there, put a hopper there, get rid of that block, and then grab your chests if that's what you're going to use, or ooh, why do I have a trap chest? Or um, connect that to your line of hoppers that's feeding into uh, its items into there. And then that is basically it, guys. Everything's done. Um, go ahead and get your uh, mine card out. And, oh, put some items in here, too. Why not? We'll toss all these in there. Bam. And why not those? Bam, bam, bam. And we'll set this up for right there. Boom, that should get it going. Get the minecart going. And everything is working and functioning and off it will go. So that is everything, guys. Thanks for watching and uh, go ahead and definitely like and subscribe. And as always, this is Captain Paperweight.